<clears throat> so here I am, not with my with my gimbal or anything, so it's a little unstable. Uh, but I want to share like some of the hazards of uh, gardening gardening in my back garden here. So um, it's July, and now I'm starting to find these little yellow eggs. Look at that little nasty suckers. Um, and so I find these on my, this is on my collard green plants. So I see, you probably can't see those, but little small white things right there. Those are also eggs, probably from the, um, I would assume that it's from the, the, um, caliper, uh, there's this white butterfly. So it's a cabbage moth or cabbage butterfly. Um, and it likes to lay the eggs on any kind of brassica. These are also another kind of insect egg. Which, of course, I'm going to clean these off. <laughs> I'm not going to let them sit there. and that, That's just way too many caterpillars for me, and they would just decimate my garden. Uh, so this is my backyard garden. This is not the allotment or a community plot that I have. Uh, and so here I have, like, a lot of, of uh, peppermint. So I love peppermint, but you can see something's eating on the leaves here. But I haven't been able to detect any kind of caterpillar or anything like that. Uh, but as I look here, my basil plants, so I just harvested basil a couple of days ago. And now I look in here, I see like, look at it, it's just totally decimated. I mean, something's eating off the, the basil. Uh, this is my Thai basil, so you see some of it's flowering. But it was pre had really gigantic healthy leaves just a few days ago. Uh, this is another type of basil, and you see it's not attacked as much. So whatever is eating this, and there's a couple of spider webs and everything. I'm out here on the basil plant I left outside as an experiment. You can see this is this is how it was back there in the in the little greenhouse. So you can see that this was just all this is all healthy and green. I mean, it's this is my hand, and this is like from the ground up. So it's like two hands high. You know, there's my chili plants and stuff. This is another kind of I don't even know what kind of that is. This is in the cabbage family, in the brassica family. Um, I don't see any insect. See, so I see a couple of couple of uh, egg pods on that too. So I have to go through all this, and that's that little nasty butterfly. Look at that! It's a pretty butterfly, but I just hate them because I know they're in here. They're trying to lay their stupid eggs all over. The... There we go. So now I have it here in my hand. I don't know if you can see it's in there, flapping its wings, and I'm just looking for a spider web <laughs> that I can throw those little sucker into. Um, but I don't see any big spider webs. Uh, maybe that's one right there. Maybe I could just shake it up a bit and let's see. I don't really see any spider in there. Okay, so this is another thing. You guys may think this is cruel. I just I hate these suckers. They really I mean their caterpillars are like just so no, I didn't get that in there. Okay, well. Um, but the rest of some of the things I'm growing here, obviously my my sage is growing really well, and these are like some of the beans and sugar snaps and things like that. Um, I see the ends off of my, off of the um, scallions or the green onions, and I just plant them back in the ground, and I get new green onions for those. I'm just one of those weird people who does that. I have to check my kale here. This is also in the brassica family. I need to see something's, you can see that here. Something's eating. I had, but I don't. I can't find the type of. I hope it's not a mite or anything. But something's attacking my kale plant here, so I need to get some baking soda and water. You can see here my nasturtiums. You can see there's like ants tending to aphids. You see it's a lot of aphids on that. I'll need to clear that out too. Oh, yo, yo. And at the same time, there's a lot of, you know, that stupid butterfly. It's getting nectar so it can lay eggs. There's also a lot of bumblebees. I'm really happy that we have a lot of flowers here because it means that bumblebees can come here and get un, you know, non poisonous uh, nectar because everything is organic. So even here at home, just like in the larger allotment, um, it is. Oh, that's more butterflies. So I just wanted to show some of the uh, my summer dahlias, which of course is a beautiful butterfly right there. Uh, 
think that's called a painted lady. So it looks like eyes or whatever. It's supposed to scare off birds and things like that that look at it. Otherwise, when it folds its wings, it's actually black on the underside. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool when it's just sitting there resting. Uh, but it's probably doing that because it sees a shadow of something. And then my lilies are, you know, I mean, I think they're just, uh, you want to know what these tall things are. These are uh, Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes are sometimes called. Um, and so these are just, they're huge. I mean, these are things over two meters tall. And later on, like <clears throat> in the August, September, there's these beautiful yellow flowers. So I keep things flowering all the time. Um, Echinacea. So you can see some of them is coming back. This is a uh, tobacco plants. Um, here is, I got to fix this up. So this is my pickly uh, cucumber uh, plants. So I have it set up here uh, like this. And so it's just going to grow up on this thing. And um, and this is my hops. <laughs> so the hops, I have to pull it back over so it's not going into my neighbor's yard. Uh, no flowers yet. Uh, but this is my hops plant. So um, I have some Clemothis in the back of that. I've got a plum tree in back of there. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, it's not a big plot that we have back here. But it does produce a lot of things that I have. You know, salad. Uh, we have some tomato plants didn't seem to take off this year. I've my third round with tomato plants and so it's really but chilies this year because it's been really hot in sweden unusually warm for sweden uh so these are my climbing tomato plant i mean climbing uh strawberry plants but they haven't really produced any fruit but they're supposed to climb up this trellis here uh so that's what i'm really hoping this is some potatoes that i had grown here at the house so i always have to go to garden and this is my of course my beautiful gigantic american blueberry uh, bush um, and behind that you can't see that but i have two great plants and i had another grape tree that i thought was going to die and i just been watering and all of a sudden look i have grape leaves so sometimes when you think something's dead it's not it just needed a lot of water a lot of tlc uh yeah so that's and behind that somewhere in, in here so you can see like here's a grape leaf just to let you know that the grapes are like climbing all the way up here. Yeah, so I have to figure out a trellis system or how I'm going to do this or something so I can get the grapes to grow in this direction. So this is my planting table, which I've just left plants here now because uh, I'm not sure where to put them at. Um, but this is, yeah, so I'm getting a few chilies in here. Let's see if I can get that out there so you guys can see that. So yeah, so see I'm getting, these are, this chili is, is a pretty good chili. It's pretty spicy. This is a, this is a, let's see if you can see that, that little red one right there. That's a little Tabasco. That is, that little sucker, since those would be like a lot larger, but that little red sucker right there, woo, that has got some zing, a wing, a wing. I mean, that is just like, you know, I put that little thing in your mouth, you're like, that's just a little chili pepper. And then you're like, woo, woo. Feel that. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, obviously, I've got to clean out the bird thing so the birds get water here. Uh, I think it's really important. Birds eat a lot of uh, insects here. So, um, oh, here's like one of the bees. It's probably just coming from under the ground. It's probably got a nest somewhere around here. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm, you know, I'm really glad that we don't have a lot of... Uh, we don't use pesticides or anything like that. And obviously, with even though the pests are here, and I really hate the things that destroy everything, um, but it's still, it's, that's because it's organic. Because I'm not using any chemicals, and I'm composting, using our kitchen scraps up uh, to get back into the soil. So I use Bokashi. Obviously, my grass is not looking all that great. But it's been really warm here, and I think the grass is burnt in some places. I don't know what that's for. So I've got to you know dig into the soil and get my grass back up. And we don't do any, we just have the grass here. I mean, my daughter does yoga out here, I think, or some kind of something she does out here. She's stretching or meditating or I don't know what she's doing. That's my youngest daughter. My wife sometimes lays on the grass uh, to relax or she's out here trying to sun herself, which is really weird because she gets about, well, I don't have a really good color red, but she gets red. She gets all crabby. <laughs> I just get brown, but she gets in, like, looks like a crab. So this is, um... This is the backyard garden. As you can see, there's a lot of bee action out here, you know. Um, so there's a lot of uh, bumblebees, actually. These are not honeybees. So these are bumblebees that are out there doing their 
bumblebee thing. Uh, so that's actually pretty cool. Well, that's, you know, you got the bee and the, everything else out there. Um, these are my poppy plants. I don't know why I didn't film this earlier. So you just see I have all the dry poppies. No, I'm not making heroin, okay? If you're going to ask, then you're stupid. Okay. Uh, but I have a... But one thing here is something's happened to my dahlia. Look at that. This should have been like just jumping with flowers and everything. And it's all dried up. And the soil's not that dry. I mean... Yeah. So uh, I still have a lot of slugs and everything. And... They eat stuff and it's just it's been a really difficult year to sort of plan how i'm going to get growth uh and everything so so that's pretty that that's pretty much it but anyway so that's the garden it's all the butterflies out here and i'm going to deal with these eggs so they don't become caterpillars yep take care see you guys bye